What's up, YouTube? It's time for another comic book haul. Um, hey, by the way, what did you think of my new intro? Um, I thought I would try and attempt making an intro for my channel because, uh, believe it or not, this is my third year anniversary of me starting these videos. Um, I started back in May of 2020, so um, I thought I would try and jazz up the place and uh, do a little video intro and see uh, how, it w how it worked. So um, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below as you guys usually leave comments about stuff I show, but uh, just let me know how, how, do you, how do you think it turned out. But anyway, I'm with the comic books because that's what we're all here for. Um, I have a bunch of different things again. I had um, a couple of shows that I went to this past week. Um, also, uh, as usual, some auction winnings and also um, I actually have a My Comic Shop order that came in because uh, I, I'm getting tired of trying to track down the books I need to finish these um, runs of mine. So yeah, I went on my comic shop and they were running a sale. I think it was like 20% off. So whatever I had in my cart was on sale. So I go ahead, I went ahead and bought the stuff that was in my cart. But <clears throat> uh, the first thing I have to show is I went to um, the Dollar Tree that there's a Dollar Tree by my house that was closed for a while and they finally reopened and I went in there looking for the Star Wars comics that everybody was finding a couple of months back. And sure enough, they finally had them in this uh, Dollar Tree that <clears throat> just reopened. Uh, these are like beautiful, minty, fresh, case fresh books. Not a spine tick on them because they're very notorious um, the way they put them on the racks for um, big spine ticks and stuff. But anyway, I was able to get the Star Wars High Republic Adventures number one and number two um, for a dollar and a quarter a piece from the Dollar Tree. Uh, also online, I picked up this off of eBay for, um, I think I got it for $3, but I'm trying to complete the set of these little Marvel puzzle books that came out back in the 70s. Um, when I get the majority of, when I actually complete the set, I might do a video and show, show them off, but I usually put them on, uh, my Instagram <coughs> channel, but I picked that one up because I needed that. Then another oddball item I came across... <coughs> Um, on Macari was some more Simpsons comics, and these are little small versions. I, I'd never seen them before. <clears throat> Simpsons Treasure Trove, uh, number one and number two. You can see how small they are compared to regular comics, but I picked them up because, uh, you know, I, I buy, I try and pick up Simpsons comics when I see them, and I had never seen those before, so I figured what the heck, I'd pick them up. So, got those. <clears throat> The next thing I have here is a couple of uh, magazines. I picked these up uh, in an auction, <clears throat> and they ended up being $5 a piece. Um, another uh, thing I'd never seen before, but the Castle of Frankenstein, number 23. Really cool cover there with Planet of the Apes. And then also Terror Tales from 1974, I'm not really sure what the issue number of, <clears throat> of that is. <clears throat> uh, Psycho number 21 from 74. Just some, you know, black and white horror magazines. Um, and then also the 1974 Psycho, Psycho Fall Special. So pick those all up for $5 a piece. Those really cool painted covers. Um... And also in the lot was a random comics feature magazine. This is August, uh, November, or August issue number 47. Um, just a, another one of those old comic news magazines before the internet. This is the only way we could get our information on upcoming comics or retrospectives of series and stuff like that. So that's some of the auction stuff I got this past week. Um, now... On to the My Comic Shop order. Like I said, <clears throat> the stuff I had in my um, stuff I had in my cart was it ended up being on sale, so I finally picked up some of the stuff I've been trying to get. These Treehouse of Horror um, books. I'm trying to complete the set. I think I'm down to three now, but I ended up picking up number three. I got that one for twelve dollars, and I got number four for ten dollars. So got those. I saw this somewhere and I thought, well, that's pretty 
Uh, I've never seen that before either. Fight everyone. <clears throat> uh, everyone hates the fight man. Number one, it's a uh, Evan Dorkin one shot. I thought that looked kind of interesting. This is another thing I saw somewhere, and I looked on my comic shop, and I and I I found it because um, I'm into promo comics or comics that you know were given away. But uh, the DC Comic Superheroes Good Health Activity Book is just basically a, a coloring book, and it talks about health stuff. And uh, it's got, you know, the big ones in there, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Uh, that one was $5. <clears throat> I picked up Cage Number 2, because I needed this one to complete that little mini series right there. I just thought this one, I saw this is another one that I saw somewhere, and I'm like, wow, that's a really sweet cover. And... Um, Oh, I think I saw it on another auction site, and it got it got too high. So I went on my comic shop, and I it was only three dollars. But it's a oops, it's an homage to uh, the first appearance of Ghost Rider, obviously Marvel Spotlight number five. And that's uh, I guess that's Ghost Rider number ten variant cover. Um, Marvel Adventures number twelve for two dollars. I'm trying to put this set together too. It's just like a almost comic cartoonish art. Um, retelling stories from um, like the Marvel Universe and different characters are in different issues. So I needed that one. I picked up this one for $2.50, Vengeance of, Vengeance of Vampirella with an Adam Hughes cover. Um, I got Vengeance of Vamp Vampirella number four also for $2. So I think that completes that run. Um, here's another oddball one that probably nobody would ever buy, but I bought, I got a couple of them, so I've tried to track down the other, it's only four issues, but Saturday Night Live, uh, the Coneheads, this is the last one I needed for that series, so there's number four of that. <clears throat> um, Double Dragon, number four, for $2. Needed that one to complete that set. Um, I think I have all of the Liberty Meadows, but this, I didn't have this one. Uh, this one was two dollars and forty cents in my comic shop. Still trying to get Ren and Stimpy completed. I think I'm down to three of these too. But here's number thirty-four I got for two fifty, and number thirty-five for five dollars. <clears throat> uh, trying to, I have the whole set of this, but I'm trying to get the variant covers. So Wonder Woman and Bionic Woman, um, the coloring book variant cover of issue number one. I got that for two dollars. Here's Wonder Woman and the Bionic Woman number four variant. That one was also two dollars. <clears throat> uh, Charlie's Angels versus the Bionic Woman number three. I need one more of these, I believe, for this uh, to complete that run. That was two bucks. Um, Avengers United They Stand. Trying to complete th this one. This one does complete the run that I have. So now that was two dollars. So now I got all of those. It's a really short run based on the cartoon from Fox Kids. Um, Adventures in the DC Universe, another animated type comic um, with DC superheroes in it. That was $5, so that completes that series. Um, then on Mercari, I'm trying to get um, all the Marvel Ace Wizard editions. So uh, this I needed this one. This was a lot, so the, I got the whole lot. Um, each book was three dollars. So in the lot was Secret Wars twenty ninety nine. Don't really need that one, but it was in the lot. Um, Avengers number forty three. Didn't need that one. And then a Marvel previews for the um, Initiative edition. But then this is the reason I got the lot because they had the Wizard Ace edition of the Incredible Hulk issue number one. So I got all four of those for $12, so that basically was $3. Usually that book by itself is, I don't know, they, people ask $15 for it sometimes, so I, I figured I might as well get the lot So with the all the comics in there, but I needed that one. So I need Daredevil now, and I need um, the X-Men, or um, the Incredible Hulk 181 with the first appearance of Wolverine as my last uh, Ace Wizard edition, so I'll probably find that somewhere. But then now, over this past weekend, I went to, um, they did the Dawn of Collector show again in Plymouth, Michigan. So I went there to see if I could find anything, and I picked up a couple of things. Um, I went to the one guy that I usually, um, that I went to the last time he was here, like two months ago, and um, 
he was there, but um, I was looking around first for some other stuff, and I've come across this guy's booth. He, um, I got all these, these were five dollars a piece, so I got, <clears throat> excuse me, Marvel Fanfare number one, one of the early direct edition Marvel comics. Um, Shadows of the Batman number one, this reprints, um, some Batman stories by Steve Englehart and Marshall Rogers. And then I just really like these covers. I got, um, I oh, this is X-Men number one. And then this one is Scarlet Witch number one. So I got all those for $5 a piece or $20 for the, the lot of them for all four comics. So um, this one I thought was a really nice cover. I mean, they're both really nice covers, but this one really caught my eye for some reason. Um, so I got those. <clears throat> then I went to a couple of dollar bins and the one guy, uh, I picked all these up for a dollar a piece. Um, I really like the Umbrella Academy show on Netflix, and I'd never seen this before, so I picked this one up. It looked interesting. Um, then G.I. Zombie number G.I. Zombie number one for a dollar. Um, a WCW number six with uh, Mick Foley on the cover. Those are hard to come by. I'm trying to work on that run too. Um, <clears throat> Warren L. Warren Ellis's Anna Mercury. This is a really nice cover, too. That's issue number one. Picked that one up for a dollar. Um, I never saw this one before. just thought this was a really nice-looking cover, too. Fathom number six. Uh, the Atomics, Mike Elred's comic number 12. The New Frontier, DC, The New Frontier, the first issue of that for a dollar. A couple of Adam Hughes covers on The Legionnaires. Uh, here's another Atomics. This one is um, a collection of, I forget what this what issues are in here. I think it's like six, seven, and eight. Then a couple of Batman Adventures. Batman Adventures number seven. Batman Adventures number eight. And Batman Adventures number nine. So I'm trying to get that series together and get those all taken care of. So I got those from the dollar bin. <clears throat> And here's some more. Oh, okay. So now I'm now I'm at that guy's booth that I went to the last time. That he's an older gentleman. He's really cool, but he he has the he's the guy that has like the um like the dollar box, the three dollar box, the five dollar box, the ten dollar box, and then they're all on sale. So I grab these <clears throat> issues here. These were in the dollar bin, so they ended up being like 50 cents. <clears throat> but I got Battle Chasers number six. Superhero, Superman Adventures number one. And then the Terrifics number one. That one's something or other's going on with that because of James Gunn. But I I recognize the cover, so I picked it up for 50 cents. So I got those. <clears throat> and then... Um, these ended up costing, uh, these were like the various three, five, ten, and then with the discounts and everything. So these were all um, three dollars a piece, I believe, when by, by the time I was done uh, paying for what I picked up. So I got um, this Deja Thorn Thoris number one Adam Hughes cover for three bucks, Betty and Veronica number three. Another Adam Hughes. Um, here's Adam Hughes on Harley and Ivy and Betty and Veronica number one. I think this is uh, Art Germ. Uh, Supergirl number 19. <clears throat> A J. J. Scott Campbell Vampirella number three. Um, I never saw this one before. I thought this was kind of cool. World's Finest number one with Jerry Seinfeld on the cover with Batman and Superman. Um, Frank, Franz Frank Franzetta's Death Dealer, number one from Opus Comics. Another one I never heard of before, Wild Women. Um, just a really cool cover. <clears throat> uh, Vampirella, Fairy Tales, number two. Vampirella, Fairy Tales, number three. 
another comic I never heard of, but it looked like a cool cover, Peepland, number five. And then he had this one last time I was there, and I was going to buy it, and I didn't buy it, and then he still had it. So I'm like, well, how much do you want for that? And I bought the Popeye number one with the uh, Action Comics number one homage cover. I just thought that was a really cool looking cover that I, I don't really see out in the wild. So he still had it I, and I, I bought it from him. So there you go. And then they also had a <clears throat> indoor um, garage sale t this past weekend at my, uh, it's not a, it's not really called a, flea market it's a trade center but it's basically a flea market so they had this indoor thing going on for friday or saturday and sunday for the weekend and so i went up there to see if anybody was selling comics and there's a few people selling comics so um i picked up <clears throat> these comics for a dollar i got uh halo number one the initiation for a dollar and then i got halo number one escalation for a dollar. And then um, The Return of Astro City number one with a nice Eric Larson cover. And Trailer Park of Terror number one for a buck. And then this one I never saw before, but this is a really nice looking cover. Lola number one from Aspen Comics. So I picked that up for a dollar. <clears throat> then this other guy had... Um, he was doing a show special. All all the comics in the and he had a little short box of comics. And uh, I thought I was gonna have another situation on my hand like that other video. They were all marked different prices. And then I saw that or they were half. He had he had half off a sign on the box that had a half off. But then <clears throat> I started looking through them, and then I said, okay, um, he there was a piece of paper in front of the box that fell over, and it said show special all comics five dollars so i'm like what are these are these half off the sticker or are they five dollars a piece and he and the guy says no no they're all five dollars for the show i'm like oh boy here we go again but anyways so i ended up picking up um this ghost ghost tales of the ghost castle number one for five dollars i thought that was a pretty good deal i have this one already but this one's a way nicer copy um avengers number 246 that's the something going on with that I can't, I can't remember what the significance of that cover is but i know i looked at it and i recognized it and plus he had um twenty dollars on it so um and then this is the other one i got from that guy hawkeye versus deadpool zero this is like the unofficial first appearance of spider gwen <clears throat> some girl, I guess in the background is it's a Halloween issue, I think. And she's walking in the some girl dressed up like Spider Gwen before Spider Gwen even came out. So picked that one up for five dollars. Pretty happy about that. And then there was another guy, they had another dollar box of comics. So he didn't have too much to pick from, but I got the Skeleton Warriors. Um I already have number one, so I got number two, number three, and number four. And then I got another copy of Biker, Mar Biker Mice from Mars. So that was my uh, weekend of sh uh, sh shows and then also stuff that I picked up over the week for um, auctions and mail order. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I want to, uh, again, uh, give a shout out to everybody that subscribes to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm glad people are still sticking with the channel and watching the stuff I post. I really enjoy doing this. Um, like I said, this is my third anniversary um, this month. So I'm going to keep going as long as uh, I st still get comics and people are watching it. Uh, still working on trying to get their subscribers up. So if you guys know of anybody who might like this content, please send them my way so I can get my subscriber base up. Uh, and other than that, again, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, appreciate everybody. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, hit the notification so you know when I do new videos. And other than that, I will leave you all until next time and just say good luck out there hunting for comics, everybody. See ya.